<laughs> Woo! I didn't just take this Woo! Say anything, you're Keith David. <laughs> Woo! You get paid for your voice. Your voice is sexy. Do you like Ben White? Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah! Woo! That's the ass. Well, I don't know. I guess I gotta, you know, first of all, thank Roddy because without him I wouldn't have looked so good doing that. Uh, you know, he's the guy. So, we're uh, presenting this and I'm very, very grateful and happy. Days of the Dead. Fight of the century. It's because all the rest of them are fucking dead. Where the hell's Carpenter? He's the one who came and had this gorilla all over my ass. He's Mike Tyson, he doesn't know it. He's a wonderful guy. Oh man, if it uh, wasn't for Keith David, there wouldn't be a they live. <laughs> I swear to you. And the fight scene, um, I've never seen a man throw his heart just into the ring like Keith David did. And uh, I love him for it. Um, I've had over 7,000 pro fights. So I'm a bit of an expert on fights. And I think I'm really, really proud to be able to take this one home just as long as you know that without Keith David, it wouldn't have been nothing. Thank you very much. For yeah! Achievement Award. Please welcome from what I'm sure is on everyone's coffee table, Fangoria Magazine. <laughs> Justin Green, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do you follow up Roddy Piper? My God, that's amazing. Good work. You know, what's funny as an aside on that, John Carpenter to this day in his office has a Roddy Piper G.I. Joe figure on top of his bookshelf, autographed, and a hot rod cap on the corner of his desk, which is yeah. absolutely hilarious, dating all the way back to uh, WrestleMania 3. So, John Carpenter's drug. <laughs>